Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now today I have a very much useful video for you guys. Now you know the Ubuntu operating system. Yes, Ubuntu Linux 22.04 has been released now and it is the long term support distribution. So in this video I will show you that how you can install Ubuntu in VirtualBox or in the real hardware and in two conditions that means if you want to install it alone that is the whole laptop or desktop will have only the Ubuntu OS or you can uh, install it along with other operating systems. Suppose you your PC or your laptop has already uh, some operating system. So how can you install in in dual boot condition? Okay, so you want to dual boot or triple boot. So how uh, you can do that? Also, I will talk about that how you can install in UEFI mode that in the uh, modern uh, desktop computers or in the legacy BIOS mode that is the for the older computers. So don't skip the video, watch till the end and subscribe my channel and like this video for more such interesting video to watch. So without further delay, let's jump into our topic. Alright, so you can see this is my uh, distribution and I am using VirtualBox, Oracle VirtualBox and this is I have booted uh, the ISO of the Ubuntu 22.04 and this is the installer, right? So after booting ISO in the UEFI mode, I am just studying the installer. Basically, you can also uh, click the desktop icon in the desktop icon of the installer, right? And so a little bit of time required to start the installer and you can see this is the uh, default uh, English uh, language. So just click OK and of course and uh, I have to choose the keyboard layout here. All right. And basically this is the very simple installer, right? So you can very, very easily install the Ubuntu. And now you can either install normal installation that is all full installation or minimal installation that is some uh, a little bit of uh, a little software packages will be installed and install third party uh, graphics and Wi-Fi hardware drivers hmm, and codecs. Okay, so then uh, click OK and just uh, I'm going forward. So install third party application, it is recommended, I will recommend it, right. And now, uh, now if you have only one operating system, you want to install Ubuntu, then erase whole disk or if you have some already have some uh, operating system like um, uh, Windows or something else, then you have to choose the uh, manual partitioning. So here you can see that this is Dev SDA, this is my whole uh, hard disk and I have to create a partition table. And you can see my free space is almost uh, 22 GB gigabyte and I have to, I am doing the manual partitioning. This, this is because this is very much important in case of dual booting or triple booting whatever. And now I, uh, I will uh, give uh, uh, some amount uh, for the ext4 that is the root partition. So I am giving here almost 18,000 almost 18 GB you can say. Any. So I will uh, ext4 partition and it will be the root mount point will be root that is a slash right and okay. So first partition uh, we have created like this okay and now second partition I have to uh, make now uh, actually three partition one is root partition another is ESP partition another is swap partition we need in UEFI boot right and if you are installing in legacy uh, BIOS then uh, no need to e um, EFI partition so I am uh, 500 MB I am giving to the EFI partition right so EFI partition this is very important to boot in UEFI mode and third partition I will make all right so just click the plus icon and third partition I will make uh, the swap area that is the uh, Linux swap okay uh, Linux swap and just click OK. So three partitions I have created like this. So now uh, it is ready to install or partitioning has been done uh, very efficiently. So you can see partitioning is really really easy here. Installer is very very good you can see very user friendly I can say. And now uh, going to now now uh, this changes will happen uh, when you continue that is the installation process will start so one ext4 one esp partition one swipe partition so three partitions we need to install the ubuntu operating system and you can see now now installation has, uh, has been started now i have to choose my local area so i am choosing uh, india because i am from india and uh, click next now i have to uh, create my 
my username so just uh, take world i'm typing so this is username and computer name and now actually your name is full name and pick a username this will be the username i'm choosing password one two three okay so <laughs> you can see this is a short password so it will say that your password is good or not okay it will recommend a strong password right so now you can see uh, copying files that means uh, all the things uh, is installing if you know the detail then you can click here and you can see all the detail uh, what is happening here uh, to installation now you have to wait a few minutes um, to complete the installation and very soon the installation will be finished actually uh, linux uh, take a very uh, minimum time uh, very minimal time to install uh, compared to the uh, windows 